Hey guys, it's Joshy here and I am back with another Ultra Sun Ultra Moon theme team. So this is my little cup SOS chain fishing team. So it's a bit of a all it is is their Pokemon that I could catch on the hook that are little cup mon and then I SOS chain them till I got the first shiny, except for one, which I um stuffed up terribly but anyway we'll get into it so it was really fun but obviously not the best team also at any stage if you do like this please do z splash onto that like button and also do not forget that i have nearly all these battles or i did off discord so first against connor and he leads off with a uh, little snowy over there and i lead off with my baboch so this was actually really cool i loved using this pokemon and funnily enough i led off with him most of the time and i think these two battles were the worst i had with him for him himself so anyway, um, this thing's going to go for a raw avail. I was like, okay, well, this is not good. I'm already already not really the best team. And especially being SOS chain, you don't know what you get as in terms of ability. So anyway, I just went for Mud Slap. I thought, you know, let's just start off getting this thing's accuracy down. Um, I was a bit worried about a certain move, wasn't sure. And then he pulls out the freeze dry. I'm like, okay, everybody on my team is weak to this damn thing. So I am generally worried. So... Bao Baboot doesn't survive that at all. So I thought, let's bring my Feebas. So this Feebas was a really awesome set. This was a light screen, Evia light, uh, light screen, max HP, max special defense, Evia light, with attract toxic light screen, no, sorry, attract scold light screen and rain dance. So I, there was a fair few times this thing tanked hits that I did not expect to see. So for example here, we're getting the Moonblast. Obviously it's not stabbed and he probably could have wrecked my team with just freeze dry. But that is doing so much little damage and I haven't even pulled out the light screen yet. So I am really happy with this. So at this point, I'm just trying to force this thing out. Maybe if it comes into something else that could take it well, but we'll see. So I'm like, come on, just just be infatuated again. Be infatuated. Daddy's not, he pulls out the freeze dry. I'm like, let's see how much this does. It's obviously stabbed and it actually literally does only 28 damage. So I am so happy with that. I'm going to go for the Rain Dance. Now, obviously, this is a Feebas. I'm nothing special, but obviously, this is actually does way better than I ever expected, special defensive-wise. And, um, you know, this thing also doesn't... Uh, with SOS Chaining, they all ended up with, I think, four top stats, but they weren't all the best. So anyway, he's going to swap into Krabby. I'm going to go for the Skull. I'm like, oh, well, at least this thing's not very specially defensive and everything. I know, you know, and I get the burn. I'm like, sweet, okay, going to make this thing a bit of a problem, like, less problematic than I know a Krabby can be because Krabby actually has really good attack stat. So I thought, oh, well, this is another attract victim. Let's get him out of the attract, and uh, let's go from there. So this Mr. Krabs is just um, money hungry over there, and uh, he's immobilized by love, so I'm like, sweet. Okay, I, I, this, is, this is going well. This is going really well. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go for another Scold. At this point, the damage is what I want. Uh, I could possibly slot this guy out and save him to tank a hit of a freeze dry. I probably could take it. But at this stage, I just thought, no, I don't want to don't play the swapping game. Plus, it, whatever I swap into, uh, he could be going for a knockoff or anything. I may not take that very well. So... I was like, okay, well, I could hit again, but at this stage, I'm just going to worry about setting up the light screen again so the Pokemon coming in can benefit from that. Um, this thing is going to get through. and actually goes for the facade, and I'm like, no, and I'm going to be taken out, which really sucks because I wanted to set the rain up again. All I wanted was one more turn, but anyway. So I thought, okay, well, let's bring in my Magic Cup. Now, this Magic Cup, I was um, chain fishing. Final SOS, sorry, chain SOS. And um, got him, and when I caught it, I realized it had Swift Swim, which was fine. Rattled would have been great, but Swift Swim was fine. But this damn thing had max HP, max speed, sorry, max HP, max special attack, max special defense, and max um, defense with very low speed and attack. And that's what I was running on. So obviously I'm going for a Z Splash, so I've got plus three in attack now. So this thing can hit things at a decent rate. And he's gone for the sword stance, so I was like, sweet, I'm going to go for the bounce. So I'm like, let's see, come on, let's see if how lucky I can get. So generally not the best Pokemon, obviously, and, you know, 
I run tackle, bounce, and flail. So if there are times that I've lived on low enough health with max stats, because he is level 100, I got him to level 100 and you know used a bottle cap to train him, but I, he had max stats except for the ones I needed. So anyway, he's going to swap. Uh, he's going oh, sorry, he's going to be taken out there, and he's going to swap into Rockefeller. So I was like, okay, that's cool. I like the name too. So I'll go for another bounce. I do out speed. So I was like, let's see what he's going for now. And I was like. Mm, Thunderfang, okay, this is not good. But at least I can get a hit off, and I'm expecting it to do okay damage, you know, after plus three, even though it's not very effective. So we're going to come down, we're going to squash him, and we're doing just under half, around a third, really. And I was like, sweet, paralyzed him, so we'll see who can finish him off. And then he's paralyzed from that. I'm like, no way. That is usually my type of luck. So I thought, okay, well, bounce again. You know, at this stage, <laughs> that's my best attack. Um because we're all not very effective, and nothing stabbed. So I'm like, okay, well, let's do another bit of damage. You might go down, and I freaking miss. I'm like, well, I guess that teaches me for paralyzing him. So he's going to get the Thunderfang off, and there is no way Magikarp is going to live that. So Magikarp's going down there, and, um, yeah, so I've lost, you know, three. He's lost one. We're looking pretty even. So I thought, oh, I'll bring in Carvana. Now, this was the only one that I had to catch the second one of, because I absolutely fucked up and killed a shiny without noticing, then screwed my chain up because I was annoyed. So I was hoping for a speed boost, but I'm not, so I'm actually rough skinned, so what I decided to do instead was run a choice banded max speed, max attack, but I would have rather run a protect life orb um, set. So anyway, this uh, this little guy, this little Paris, and I was so glad to see Paris used, is going to pull out the spore here. I'm like, let's see what it's going to do. Uh, I'm wondering if it's going to leech life or try and, you know, knock me down. And it's actually going to go for leech seed instead. And I'm like, okay, well, this is obviously going to be a pretty cool stally set. I was, I was pretty excited to see it, to be honest. And I really do love Paris and Parasect. I think they're... I don't think they're necessarily underrated. They have uses, but unfortunately their just typing doesn't leave anything great to be designed. So I'm still asleep. I'm like, come on. He went for a protect wondering if I wake up. He's obviously getting HP, but I can't take him out in one hit, which is a problem. But two hits I should be able to do is from easily this range. So I wake up and obviously being choice banned and I'm stuck into crunch. So I'm going to crunch on that little Paris there. He's going to go for a substitute, but unfortunately for him, he gets locked, knocked low enough on HP that he can't actually go for that. If he went for that the turn before instead of Protect, that could have been a bit of a problem. So luckily for me, he, all he can do is really Protect Stall just to work down my HP, but he can't do much else against me because after this, I'm going to be able to take him out. But the only thing, as I said, is he's at least taken me down about halfway on HP. So I really enjoyed this set, Spore, Leech Seed, um, protect and sub, so it may be something I'll look into using for funsies, but unfortunately here I will be, well not unfortunate for me, but unfortunate for him, I'll be taking that out. So now I'm like, okay, well, I have to face this thing and, you know, I may, again, I have decent stats, but I am not bred perfectly or anything, so there are downfalls to um, natures and stuff, so he will outspeed me here. And he's going to take me out with a freeze-dry for sure. So I'm like, great. And I was like, okay, well, only thing I can think of is to bring in the Dratini here. So yes, Dratini, I was thinking, this is a cool idea. I'll use to get a Dratini because, you know, I'm a little cup and I'm not water. So it does help me with the electric and grass, but unfortunately it doesn't. And I live on one HP. I get the special attack drop. I actually thought of running a focus sash, but in the end, I didn't even run a single focus sash. I went for outrage and thank Lord I took this thing out because I was like, oh, what a problem. But as you know, he could have probably easily taken me out with a freeze dry again, but he, you know, it was, it was uh, this team was hard enough as it was, all right? Okay, so my last one is Clam Pearl, and I really, really enjoy using Clam Pearl, but um, something a little funny I figured out later. So anyway, this Torchic's going to go for the Protect, obviously going for the Speed Boost, but I'm like, well, mate, I'm going to go for the Shell Smash, so I think at plus two in speed compared to your plus one, I can take it out. Uh, well, be out, sorry, be able to outspeed, but unless you're Focus Sashed, I can take it out. But guys, he has a Hail Up, so stuff the Focus Slashes around. Uh, sashes, 
there. Anyway, so he's going to get the speed boost, so I'm like hoping I can outspeed it so I can claim this match back to a bit. And I do, so I'm able to get the surf off. And, you know, at plus two as well with max special attack, that's... It's a Torchic and it's a Surf, so I'm going to be taking this thing out. So I really, really like using Clampell, and I'm probably going to try and aim for a sweep along the lines with this thing. So anyway, next, last one he's going to bring in is Luna, and speaking of this, I need to get a shiny one of these. I love it shiny. So I'm just going to pull out the Surf. I'm like, I should be able to hit pretty hard. I know these are specially defensive, and if it's Evie Light. So I do almost all the HP, and I'm like, what's he going to do? And I'm like... Ah, fire out. It's not a citrus. It's a yappa berry. And, um, yappa. So, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna, yeah, light screen. So, now I'm gonna be doing half the damage I was doing, meaning I won't be doing enough to take him out. So, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go for a shell smash again, and this should be able to put me over the edge so I can take him out. And I was like, as long as I can live an attack, I don't know what he's gonna pull. I was taking a chance and the chance paid off in the end here because I got him on a calm mind um, the only thing is if this thing ends up hitting me I could be in a bad spot now because I'm negative two in both defenses so here I end up going for the surf I was like okay well he's plus one calm mind plus a light screen we'll see how it goes and he lives it badly but still on red HP so he's going for another calm mind and um, I was like, okay, well, I should definitely be able to take this guy out here. So I thought, you know what, I, I know he's got another car mine up, but I'm just going to go for it. So I actually decided to go for Hidden Power here, which, funnily enough, I have Ice Beam and he's an Ice Hidden Power. So I would have taken him out with hit Ice Beam or Surf and I could have won that, but he's going to take me out there with the Psychic. But that is no worry to me because, as I said, Freeze Dry could have really ended my life. Also, I should state, guys, just before we get into the battle against Eckhard here, uh, I do actually have an extra battle at the end. I don't usually do it because it's not so much my thing as it is others, mainly Pimp Knights, but I know a battle that could have gone better if I was concentrating a bit more and sent out the right Pokemon. Um, and somebody who does want to see his battles in some of them, so I just threw it on there. But anyway, so as I said, I'm going to lead off with Barboach again. Now, I was really, really, really glad to see this Pidgey, and I'm pretty sure Eckhard bred this from my Pidgey. I traded him a spare of with a Brave Bird, which I was super excited about. So it's going to do over half my HP. Uh, it's obviously probably banded or anything, but I'm going to get the Toxic off because I know, you know, I can deal with the Pidgey, but at the same time, I know Pidgey can actually hit really hard if it's banded. And that's what I love about it. It's such a beautiful Pokemon. <laughs> So anyway, he's going to pull out another Brave Bird, and yeah, I'm going to go down. So as I said, two battles in a row, this poor Barboach did minimal. And I'm like, you are so unfortunate. So I'm, so you know, watch, see if he does a bit more in the last battle. But I will have that sped up. So anyway, at least Pidgey's poison, and I was like, good, okay. Hopefully I outspeed it, because if I don't, this is a problem. And I'm a bit worried, so I'm not sure. I'm not running anything. So he's actually going to swap in, you know, doesn't want to take the damage and everything. He's going to swap into Rufflet, which I was like, sweet, because I just went for the Ice Fang. So I'm like, how much damage are we going to do? Are we going to kill it? Not quite, but I'm like, okay, well, I think I'll probably leave a Rufflet attack if it does outspeed, but it does not. And Rufflet is going to go down there. I'm assuming he was a slightly defensive Rufflet, which is pretty awesome, but, you know. So now he's going to bring in Crab Brawler. I'm like, okay, well, I'm stuck in the Ice Fang. I'm just going to go for it again. I know he'll definitely live it. I'm just hoping for the slight freeze or um, flinching. I don't get it, and he's going to go for the Power Up Punch, which I'm going to put money on the fact I will die here, and I do. But he's going to get a plus one in attack. The only bright side as well is I get more damage off thanks to the Rough Skin. So now Kavana's going to go down here, as expected. But, you know... At least he's also lost some HP from the life orb. So I'm like, good, good. I've got plans. So I thought, I'll bring in Dratini here. I am thought, I could go for a Dragon Dance. But at this stage, I thought, no, I just need to go for the Outrage and get rid of him. I actually get the crit, but this thing probably carried Ice Punch or something as well. So I was a little bit worried about that. So now we have the Quacken coming in. I honestly do love this, and I do love Psyduck Shiny. So anyway, I thought... Well, I didn't think. I was already stuck in Outrage, so let's see, you know, oh, that's pretty good. We're doing around half. We should be able to take him out. And then he goes for Rain Dance. I'm like, okay. So I'm going to put money on this as a Swift Swim set, which it is. And uh, it's going to outspeed me now. But, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what moves it's running. Let's have a look. He actually pulls out the Ice Beam as 
I really did expect. And that will definitely hit me hard enough, being an, probably a max speed, max special attack Psyduck. And Dratini's going to go down there. So I thought, okay, we'll bring in Magikarp, because at least I can use the rain against him and take him out. So I thought, okay, well, time to pull out. I'm Swift Swim, and I will outspeed and do outspeed the Psyduck. I'm going to go for my Normalium ZZ Splash, and should be able to do a decent chunk of damage. Uh, sorry, not damage. I sh he'll do a decent chunk of damage to me, but after that, I will be able to do a decent chunk of damage with anything. So he pulls out the Hydra Pump. I'm like, cool. I should be able to live this pretty badly. Uh, and, nope. No, I'm just dead. I'm like, you got to be freaking kidding me. All I wanted to do is live that badly so I could flail that ass and whatever else comes out. So I'm like, well, you know what? You're going to have to face my damn Feebass now. So he's going to pull out another Hydra Pump. Unlike... Um, Magikarp, though, I am very specially defensive. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go for the Attract here. Uh, I probably will force him out with that Attract, but I probably could have gone for Light Screen first, so I'm taking less damage. But I, I didn't know. And in the end, he does stay in, and he is immobilized by love, which is fantastic, because now I'm able to get Light Screen up. And so now, because the rain is already pouring, I'm like, okay, well, you know, it's now going to stop. But do I set it up again or not? And I thought, you know what? I don't really want to set it up. I think I might just go for the Scold. See if I'm lucky enough to take him out. And, um, you know, but then I could go for it. And so I was I'm even worrying about this. But as I said, I did go for the soul, Scold. And I'm like, come on, give me a burn against his Ekans. Do it, do it, do it. Ah, I don't. So I thought, oh, well. He's end up going for a wrap. And I'm like, okay, well... This is interesting. Is he got much else or is he just running a wrap? So I thought, okay, I'm expecting to be poison or something. Going for another scold. I'm like, come on, just do... And it does enough to get him to HP, but I also burn him. So I'm like, yes! He's unfortunately going to pop a citrus berry there. But I'm like, you know what? I am not even worried. Because, as I said, I have burned him. So even though, you know, the end of turn wraps are going to be doing... Um, the same amount of damage, the per turn wrap, if he's using it, is going to do less. But now he's popped his berry, he's actually going to go for the thief, and I'm like, ooh, okay. Well, that was that was a, a cool thief there, that actually paid off quite nicely for him. But, as I said, he is poisoned, so at, uh, freaking hell. he is burnt, so he will be losing HP every round. And I'm like, okay, well I'm down next turn, but again, extra burn. Um, yeah, damage. So he's going for the wrap. I, as I said, I won't be taking too much damage from it. I decided to set up the rain dance this turn. I thought I'm probably going to go down. If I do, um, if I don't, then I get a scold off hopefully next turn. If I do, I'm I don't have a problem with it. I honestly thought he probably would have gone for thief and not wrap because I'm still wrapped. But it's having the rain up for the next Pokemon. Unfortunately, in a way, I do live on two HP because he does outspeed me and he will take me out with the wrap. But again. That extra turn is extra fire, uh, burn damage, but it's a less turn of rain for my Clampel, who has to deal with four Pokemon. So that okay, well let's see. This rain's going to be beneficial for me. I'm hoping. So, I um, I expected him to probably go for the wrap. It's not like he can steal an item or anything, and he's burnt, so it's going to be doing minimal damage. Um. As I said, with minimal damage, I wasn't too afraid. I thought at least I can go for a Shell Smash. I'll outspeed him next turn, so I should be able to take him out. Well, I, I will be able to take him out with a Surf in the rain. And, you know, he has nothing that can really absorb a water attack. So I was just making sure that... The only thing I was really worried about is that um, Quacken. Because if the Quacken does take me out with um, Swift Swim... That could be a really bad thing for me. So anyway, I'm going to go for the Surf in the rain, plus two in special attack. That Ekans is gone. So, you know, thank you for that effort. Bye-bye. So Pidgey's going to come back in, and I was like, okay, I'm a little worried again about this thing. I don't know if it will take me out if it outspeeds, but unfortunately for him, it does not. I'm able to get the Ice Beam off, and that will take the Pidgey out. That is actually also the moment I did realize my hidden power is Ice. I taught it to him and forgot to ask the lady about it at all because I'm a moron. So now I've got Riolu coming in. I'm like, okay, well, could I have Fake Out? Could I have, you know, any? Could I have some priority moves? It doesn't, or at least doesn't go for it. I do outspeed, and I'm like, come on, take it out. Yes! Okay, that thing's done. So now we just have the Quacken to deal with. So I'm like, great. 
It's coming down to my clampel or this quacken. Two shiny water bros hanging out in a hot tub five feet apart because they're opponents. And so I'm going to go for the surf. I'm like, come on, come on, come on. It doesn't take him out. I'm like, oh no, oh no. Okay. Hydro pump. And hydro pump misses. I'm like, I don't know if that would have taken me out or not. But I don't give a rat's ass at this point. I have a feeling it may have. I'm going to go for the ice beam. And that is enough to take out the quack. And so I am so lucky there to claim that win. But I am so happy for it. So, guys, as I said before, if you did enjoy this, please do Z splash on that like button. Uh, don't forget that there is a little battle coming up after this I've sped up, which is worth a watch if you like to see more of this and see how this team can go and how a stupid decision of mine made it nowhere near as good as the battle could have been. Uh, also, do not forget Discord, Twitch, and Twitter is linked below, especially Discord. That's where I do all my battles. You can hit me up on there. Um, as well as that user comment section, you can suggest sweeps, theme teams, if you want to see a Clampell sweep. Go ahead and tell me. I'll work on that. Um, finally got a sweep the other day, which I've been working on for months. Um, you know, anything like that you want to suggest, that's welcome. And finally, guys, don't forget, if you do want to keep up to date with everything I do or the Pokemon or anything like that, you're well then welcome to hit that sub button because it'll help you out to keep up to date. And it'll help me out too. But anyway, guys, until my next video, I'll see ya.